So for this particular system, we're plumbing it in with Schedule 80 PVC. We did install an isolation valve with a one inch MPT fitting here. And we have a shut off to the house and a hose bib here. The hose bib is going to be very important. We recommend that you put these in your systems uh, so you can do your back flushing uh, and your prepping before uh, you, water goes into your house. So we're going to go ahead and install the valve. So uh, we shipped a little tube of lube with your valve. There's an O-ring here that seats around the D-tube and an O-ring here that seats to the tank. So we want to make sure we put a little lube on each of those. And just go ahead and put a nice film, little film all the, all the way around. And then we'll go ahead and install the valve. One thing on these, you want to make sure you don't over tighten them. Never use a strap wrench or anything like that on them. They only need to be hand tight. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install our bypass valve. Uh, there again, notice the end, there's an inlet and outlet arrow here on the valve. There's also an inlet and an outlet arrow here on the bypass valve. Again, these bypass valves have O-rings. We'll want to lube those as well. And then match up your arrows, and this guy will just pop in like that, and you can just hand tighten these nuts here. Again, you don't need a wrench on these. The hand tighten is fine. Okay, the last thing we'll do here is we have our one inch adapter valves. There again, these also have the O-rings here. We'll want to put a little lube on. Okay, we also want to verify that our bypass valve is in bypass. So basically, both valves face each other. Water will go in the inlet and out the outlet, but not be inside the tank yet. So we want to make sure we've got this in the bypass mode. Okay, we'll go ahead and hook our flex lines up. And these uh, have a little rubber washer inside, so you just want to get a little snug on these just to seal them from... And we'll go ahead and install our outlet. And then go ahead and tighten this one as well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and power up our unit. First thing we want to do is remove the dust cover. Go ahead and plug this in. There are three ports over here. We put this into the P for power port. It's on the out, most outboard side. And we'll go ahead and plug our valve in. <laughs> 